Joseph, thanks for the pictures here. Um, I, I really like uh, the look of your house. A nice white, uh, clean look is perfect for landscape lighting. you got some nice rock work and some landscape uh, to work with. Um, with that being said, I would keep it really simple, and I think you could do uh, an amazing job. But what I would do um, is I would use some uh, up lights and accent lights, uh, which are these here. Um, also known as spotlights, floodlights, different people call them different things, and then um, a few path lights, and I'll show you how I would use those. Um, but I would start with the up and accent lights. I would try and light the pillars here. Um, just the nice white pillars along with some of the rock you have down here will make a really nice clean look and really help the house stand out. Um, I love when it's a white house because then it, it really reflects that light and looks good. And the way I would do this is I would have one two, three, four on each of these pillars. So, you know, you kind of want to set it probably back here a little bit and just have it shining directly up on there and it'll get right to the top here. Uh, and will look really, really good on those four pillars. And then I would do the same on both sides of, uh, of the windows here, um, of the, of the deck here. So kind of on the corner, I would have it shining here and up on this corner as well. So basically six up lights and, um, I thought I had another picture here. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, you know, from here you'd have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. That would look really, really good. And then you might just want to add a path light or two. So I would probably try and add um, one of the path lights kind of, kind of in here, not quite in the middle of this area because you're going to have these two lights here. So something in the middle here and kind of in the middle here, but leaning to a little bit more uh, towards closer to the corner of the pathway here because then you'll have a little bit of that path light will shine down just before the steps here um, and illuminate kind of this front walkway area and then as for the front here i mean it'd be great to get um, an accent light up in here and maybe even a path light to help light some of the sidewalk it just depends if you want to go under the sidewalk or not um, it's not super tough what i'd recommend is if you if you just go to amazon and you look at you can google yard butler or bulb auger um, it's something like this. It just uh, it basically fits into a drill bit. Um, I don't have a good picture of it, but it, it goes into a regular drill and then you can just kind of drill. Uh, let's see if they got better pictures here. Uh, that's how they use it for that. That's not how we're going to use it. Um, but anyway, it shows how it just goes on a drill there and then you can just drill underneath the sidewalk. So that's a good way to do that if you wanted to throw an accent light and maybe one you know, a path light over here to kind of illuminate this area and then maybe one down over here to kind of illuminate this walkway. So then you've got kind of all of this part of the walkway lit and then the house will uh, look fantastic with those accent lights. So um, I'll put you together a, a little kind of customized kit because we're looking at a few different lights there of what that might cost. And if you like the idea, then you can go ahead and, and place that order. It'll come with everything you need to install it. And if you have any other questions or want to change anything, just let me know. All right. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks again for watching guys as we show you how to easily install low voltage landscape lighting. So there's various different lights you can look at. The most popular is easily the up light, accent light or bullet light often used to highlight different trees and, and features in your yard. Another very popular light is a wash light often used to highlight the fronts of homes and beautiful stonework. Uh, path and garden lighting is also very popular to use to light walkways and garden areas and plant material down below, as well as hardscape lighting, which is used in different kinds of hardscapes, as well as on fences and decks, and can also create some cool effects. And a great way to see what looks good is just to take a flashlight or, or any kind of light around at night, shine it on a few of those features, and really see what looks good and where you're going to position those lights. I strongly recommend looking at LED energy efficient bulbs for all of your landscape lighting. It saves on power and it lasts a long, long time. You see they only use 40 watts, 260 lumens is very bright, and they still have that warm white or warm white look that you would find in an incandescent fixture. And if you have an existing landscape lighting system that is incandescent, it's very easy to retrofit with LED bulbs. Again, just to save power and not have to be changing bulbs all the time. What we often recommend is go and find really good quality outdoor rated LED bulbs and then go find really good incandescent fixtures and just marry the two together and retrofit your incandescent fixtures with really good quality LED bulbs and it'll help bring the cost down rather than going and buying a fully integrated LED 
fixture, uh, which looks good and lasts a long time, but they do cost a lot more than doing this and just finding a really good fixture and retrofitting it with a really good bulb. So once you know where you're going to put your lights and you have your lights picked out, the next step is to start placing your lights. So we've determined where they're going to go. Start by digging just a small hole and just preliminarily placing your lights. I recommend using a rubber mallet so that you can really pound those ground stakes in and give them some good stability. Screw your light in afterwards so you can really get it in there. Make sure everything's level. And then from there, you start laying out your wire once you got all your lights in place. And be sure to leave extra wire at every fixture just to give yourself some wiggle room. Connecting the lights is quite simple. When you make your splice in your wire, you'll have a wire going in and a wire going out for each connection, as well as your fixture wire. And at every light, you're going to have two of those connections. I recommend a good waterproof connection, either a, a gel filled snap lock connector or these. Uh, gel filled DBRY connectors that come in two parts that you have a moret that screws on and keeps the wires tight and then it fills the wire fills into a gel filled tube that keeps the water out so just be sure to make sure you're getting good waterproof connections that keep the wires free of the elements as well as keep them from pulling apart the next step is selecting your transformer uh, very easy to do if you Look on any bulb that you purchase, it should give you the wattage, but if you have a four and a half watt bulb and you have 10 of those, that's gonna give you 45 watts, which means you wanna select a transformer that's just slightly bigger than that. And I recommend trying to find a transformer that has a photo cell as well as a timer built into it for easy use. Uh, they're very easy to wire in your transformer, depending on the transformer you have, it's generally gonna have a common tap and a 12 volt tap. You just put one wire into each tap Screw them down tight, mount your transformer close to your GFCI receptacle so that you can get power, plug it in, turn it on, and go and make sure all your lights work before you start burying any wire. So once you've checked all your lights and everything works, you can start burying them. One thing I would recommend is looking at the Weon Outdoor Wi-Fi switch. It's a great tool if you want to make your landscape lighting system totally smart and Wi-Fi operated. Uh, to bury the wires, very easy with a flat-ended shovel, creating a trench that's six to eight inches deep, spreading the turf open and pushing that wire down and stomping it down within no time at all. It looks like you haven't even been there. And in the mulch, it's just a matter of pulling it back and creating a, a path to lay down that wire, stapling it down and burying everything over that. So hopefully that helped. And if you have any questions, by all means, you can always reach out to us and follow us on Facebook and Facebook. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching that video. I hope you guys got some great ideas for your own do-it-yourself landscape lighting projects. If you want your own free consultation video, like I said before, email me your pictures at cal at lightingdoctor.ca or go and visit us at lightingdoctor.ca and be sure to check out our Try It Before You Buy a Light. Again, we can get one premium grade fixture and a King Innovation Instalight battery operated demo kit that you can go and test those lights out on your property before you make any big purchases. So I hope to see you guys again soon. And again, go get your free consultations by emailing your pictures or visit us at lightingdoctor.ca. Thanks so much for watching.